space, the final frontier, to infinity and beyond. Live long and prosper. These three phases amongst many others have us flashing into a fantasy of space navigation, Mars landing, and who knows, maybe even aliens. At the Space Challenger Space Center in Peoria, they can help you experience just that. Well, minus the aliens, of course. As flight directors, we manage the missions that are done here. And when we say missions, we have three different scenarios that take people into space. One is a Comet mission, one is a Mars mission, and one to the Moon. started back in 1986 with the Challenger, and we lost the Challenger 73 seconds into the mission. Uh, at that time, instead of just establishing a memorial, the families of the crew decided to carry on the mission of the Challenger, which was to rendezvous with a Comet at the time. And so the Challenger Centers were started, Challenger Network, and there are about 50 Challenger Centers in the world today. And every Challenger Center, when they first open, must do rendezvous with a comet to complete the mission of the Challenger. The things that we are proudest of is, uh, relates back to a saying that I've heard many years ago. If you tell me something, I'll forget it. If you show me something, I might remember. If you involve me, I will learn. We involve the people who are out here. They do the work and they learn through involvement. Chris Saylor, eighth grade teacher for Paradise Valley Christian Prep Academy, got to see his students experience this learning philosophy. One thing they do at this facility is they bring the teachers ahead of time and came here this summer. I thought it was a neat experience. My son was just overjoyed, a college graduate. I thought, you know, it might be beyond him. But we've both found the communication levels everybody working together, the teamwork, and the problem solving. I think the best experience was not only um, learning about what the astronauts go through and stuff, but also being able to be with our eighth grade class and have this experience. And it was great to work with all of them in um, a setting outside of school. Since the doors opened in 2000, these flight directors have read their fair share of thank you notes for these rewarding experiences. Well, we would love to uh, inspire someone to be in the NASA programs of the future. But what we really try and do is reinforce what teachers and parents are trying to teach their kids every day when it comes to having the kids here. First of all, that they have to listen, they have to read because we make them read their instructions, and they have to learn how to work together all of which we have them do when they are here in any job that they have. And in addition to that, we have them solve problems during the mission. They say they'll get a job and they won't know the person and they have to work with that person for the rest of their life or maybe a short time as well. But in the same scenario here, they had to get along with each other to make things work and stuff like that. And then it just goes on later when they get their you know, job as an adult. Community plays such a vital role and is key with this Challenger Center. We're just getting to the point where we might have some of them coming back from college and saying, hey, this was a factor in deciding what I was going to do with my life. Um, I was on the medical team. I wanted to be a doctor for a very long time, and that kind of gave me a better idea on how everything works. I think that everyone should come do this at one point because it gives them the experience on what astronauts have to go through on a day-to-day -day basis. We are the largest freestanding Challenger Center in the world. We are not funded by any school district or anyone else. We rely entirely on the uh, donations and the money that people uh, pay when they come out here for one of our missions and our sponsors, which we are very fortunate to have many local sponsors from businesses around the valley who have been very generous with their donations and making sure that we have the things that we need to keep going. So we'd like to say... Thanks, Cox Cherries! Wow, talk about an out-of-this-world experience. For more information, log into azchallenger.org. For doing more for Arizona Cox Charities, I'm Magdalena Durham.